you were like super in love at one point, right? <laughs> like uh, 2K baby, you were like that was like a whole thing, like right? Oh, that I caught you off guard. <laughs> You're like, Shit, this was good until like you had to go there. <laughs> yeah, that was like 2019 though. Mm. Mm. Right, but that like had a <laughs> <laughs> we got pause on that like. You need some more? Yeah. <laughs> Yo, what's poppin'? It's your boy, Mr. J. Hill, and welcome to another episode of the J. Hill Podcast. But right now, I want to give a special thank you and shout out to our sponsor, that's Top Dog Law. So look, man, if you're suffering from medical malpractice, a slip and fall, especially a car accident make sure you call my guy top dog law that's top dog law on instagram and topdoglaw.com look if you check out his instagram you'll see he uploading big checks i mean like every day i ain't talking about the little ones the big ones so shout out to my guy top dog law topdoglaw.com get that money i know i'm trying to get it we ready everything good we looking good what's popping y'all j hill j hill podcast in the building special guest here Jaya, are we gonna say Jaya or Jaya? Gonna, j- just Jaya. Yeah, Jaya. It's not Tajaya. No my more. full name is Tajaya, but Tajaya Gary, right? You used to yeah. go by that, right? That, I mean, yeah, that's my name. But okay. <laughs> why you take it off? Like, I don't, shit, I don't know. No, it's just like Jaya is my artist name, so it's just like Jaya. But I saw. But, oh, good. Talk about my Instagram. I seen a lot of things was was promoted to to Jaya. Yeah, Gary. because like that's before like I was really going hard as an artist. Mm. Cause like I always been working on music, but like I only been consistent with like dropping and shit for like three years for mm. real. So yeah, but I want to change it. Like even the Instagram name, I'm in the process, but I'm not finna just like make a like a quick decision on changing my username. Mm. Cause somebody gonna scoop that bitch up. Bro, you think you think they gonna give you Jaya? Just Jaya? No, they don't. Like it's like inactive. Oh. Like I feel like I have to wait till like. I find somebody like who can like knows Instagram or some shit. Yeah. So I just been holding out on the username. Okay. Cause I don't want to do nothing that I don't want it to be like have to add an underscore or some right. stupid shit like. Now you. So what you said is inactive. What does that mean exactly? Like. Like you know when you you know when you um you want a username and mm-hmm. it's like nobody's using this account like nobody like this no oh, one's it's, been, it's active like the, yeah it's, it's taken it's, but yeah, it's nobody's taken, using this but shit. yeah nobody's using oh, it nah, that's and crazy. i've been i've been dming them like for years like i swear for years like nah, that's crazy. <laughs> nobody's answer they're gonna tax for that though just because they're gonna that's what that. i'm saying but some people like i feel like some people do that like their job is like to save usernames and they sell them like oh that's smart as shit. Yeah. Damn, I'm about to I'm about to start just creating using it. I'm about to look for people names and shit. like for real i've been telling people my whole entire like career the first and last name is fire to me, in my opinion. Like mm-hmm. your real name, is yeah. fire. But only people people only start getting it until they get older. They yeah. only start getting it when they get older. But I just feel like my name, like off the rip, when you see it, someone's gonna butcher my name. Like I don't want my name. Like I want something easy. And like Jaya is like that's my nickname. That's like what I've used to being being called. So I just felt like Jaya was like the authentic version of me. So I just started mm-hmm. going by Jaya. It's short. It's four letters. It's like. It's easy to find, but I need the correlation with my Instagram and my music name because, like, you was just confused a little bit yeah. for a minute. Like, you feel me? Nah. So your music name is Jaya. 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 On Instagram, what is it? Because I probably to Jaya Gary okay. is my username. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Nah, it's crazy because I think when I pulled up Jaya on YouTube, um, I don't. I think some some other b- came up. Yeah, it was like some. <laughs> I think it was like Wait. A, a white. Yeah, I know who you're talking about, and that's the other f***ed up shit about it. Because, like, the girl, whoever it is, she's, like, very popular in some other country. Like, very popular. Okay. And then I started reading up on her, and she actually, like, committed suicide on some shit. Wait, what? Mm Mm-hmm. And she was a singer as well in, like, some other country. Oh, wow. So she don't even... That was about to be really bad. I was about to say, she don't even exist no more, but that's crazy. No, it's like... I'm sorry. Yeah, I I don't know, but... I have that problem too. Every time that I search it up, I see her too. But mm-hmm. that just means I gotta get bigger than this bitch, so my shit can just. We flood can't. It. She's committed suicide. We can't talk. Oh um, yeah, you're right. I'm That's sorry. Crazy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. My condolences. I'm sorry. Yo, um, <laughs> listen to your music. Uh, it's super interesting. Mm-hmm. First of all, my my first question is this is a personal question. Mm-hmm. Do, do people? Do anybody compare you? Do people compare you to anybody particular? Yeah. Who? They be like, 
Dej Love. Oh, that's what I'm f-ing talking about. Let's go. That's not going to be talking about. Let's go. No, because I said that. I called it. I called it. Let's f-ing go. Then I say that. I literally said. I said it's crazy because like because you you're super young. Mm-hmm. I mean, you probably you probably get that a lot, but you're super yeah. young. So like when I came in here, somebody said somebody. Well, Seven was saying somebody. I'm like, yo, I might be aging myself because Days Loaf ain't been around since forever, right? I'm like, I might be aging myself, but she she giving me Days Loaf vibe, and it's like I'm loving Is it. Is it the sound? It. Is it the sound or like the flow, like the lyrics? Like I can't say the lyrics for sure, but definitely the sound, bro. But it's for me, it's refreshing because I'm a yeah. little older. It's like Days Loaf was a vibe. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry. But yeah, she was. No, she was definitely. She a vibe. was a vibe. So she like, was a vibe. But do you sure. not like that comparison when people say that? It's not that I don't like the comparison. If it was somebody else, I would still be like, uh, like, but. Because you want to be yourself. But it's inevitable. Like, the comparisons are definitely inevitable. So mm-hmm. I'm not tripping. Yeah. But every time someone does compare me, it makes me, like, kind of focus more when I'm creating to, like, be different. Mm. So I don't be tripping. But so. sometimes, like, Sometimes people have similar sounds and like you don't have to run away from it because like no, you yeah. are lit. Like that shit is a five. five no, for so. real. And everything, like everything when you're creating, I forgot. It's some quote somebody said, but all ideas are stolen. Yeah. Not stolen, but like. Nothing new is under the sun. Nothing new is under the sun. Like <laughs> We all get inspiration from somewhere, even without realizing it. So. Mm-hmm. Nah, facts. But I think that's anybody else or because that's the only person I could think. Um, I think some people I think. say I got Mariah the Scientist lately. See, I I don't listen like I'm old. I've head. gotten Janae. Cool, go with it. But like Janae is somebody I've been listening to like my whole life. Mm. Um, so that's probably like expected. Yeah, so later. it's like I can't control the influence. Oh yeah, yeah. For but sure. But it's not like I don't feel like my sound is exactly like anybody's. So. Mm. Damn, no, that's cool. I fuck with that. Yo, at what time? Because um. One thing I did notice, your, your sound kind of, like, changed. Well, it grew for sure, like, as it's supposed <laughs> yeah. to be, right, over the time. Yeah. At what point do you think it was the time it changed? And what was that, that deci- not deciding factor, but, like, that particular moment where you could look back and be like, oh, I know. Like, when, when the, like, I flipped yeah. the switch, kind of. Yeah. Um, it was 2021, top of 2021. I met a producer named Manny Ill, mm. and... That was the first time I got, like, the freedom to create without having okay. to pay for studio time, come in there with my shit already wrote, and just do it. Like, he was just, like, he gave me the chance to just, like, create. Like, I didn't have to worry about it. Like, he just gave me the resources. Mm. And the beats. Like, he's hard. And he was engineering me. He's hard. Like, I felt like that's when my sound started growing for real. But really, like, what a lot of people don't know, I've been recording since I was, like, 11. I was in a girl group when I was 14. Mm-hmm. And um, even the school I went to, Big Boy's son went. So, like, we're good family friends with him. Even when I was younger, he used to let me in his studio just record, like, off the strength. Like, Mm. just let me in there. And it's not like I was, like, my shit was hard back then, but I was still putting in the work. Like, I was still putting in the hours. And, like, that's how you build a sound. That's how you get better. You just keep doing it. Mm. Yo, speaking of Big Boy, right, did you ever... Did you who you think? Did you think Big Boy was the best out of the outcast? Out just curious. <laughs> I'm just curious. I don't know. Like shit. Did you? Did you? Um. Is that a trick question? You can. Yeah, answer? that is a trick question because they're both hard. But Andre 2000 is hard. Like he's hard as fuck. But so is so is Big Boy. Like I don't. I only ask that. Cause what do you think? N- I think Andre 3000. Like, <laughs> like, what, like, shit, like I, but I say that because, you know, sometimes relationships do have uh, a little biasness on a person because you see them different. Yeah. You understand them different. That's why <laughs> at first the question might catch you like, oh, like, no, nah, it wasn't a trick question. But because you're so close to him, I was wondering, like, how did you see his influence or his his yeah. his musical genius uh, just growing up being so close to him? No, yeah, I, I definitely, like, I think he's hard. I oh, think that's he's crazy. hard. I know old hip, I keep calling myself old, niggas gonna kill me for this one. I honestly think he got overlooked a lot. I, he I didn't, did, yeah, he I didn't, did. And just being honest, mm-hmm. I just I always be like, outcast, Andre 3000, like, that's all I've mm-hmm. been to, just being honest in myself, so. Yeah. Damn, that's crazy, I man. I think they both, like, had different strengths. Hmm. You know? Yeah. What about you? You think you get overlooked in this music scene? 
I mean, of course, but also I can't downplay people who are looking at me already. That's a fact. But do you catch yourself feeling like, man, these niggas better stop fucking playing with me? Yes, all the time. <laughs> <laughs> like, y'all niggas go stop playing. All the time. But like I said, I feel like I had to, I used to like think about that all the time. But I okay. had to tell myself, like, stop thinking about that because literally I have like, I have a little fan base that is like loyal as fuck. So it's like, I can't downplay these people. And it's mm -hmm. better to be building loyal fans than just quick fans who nice. aren't loyal. So here that they gonna more type about. Yeah, I feel like it's just due time for real. But if I'm complaining about who not fucking with me, like you overlooking the people that I'm worried about the wrong with. shit. No, that's a fuck. Curious. Look, I'm looking you up, right? Mm -hmm. I see Tajaya Gary, <laughs> born in 2000. Mm -hmm. Just as a 2000 baby. Yeah. Do, do people come at you differently? Because I, I wouldn't know, but I will automatically assume because even like, so 1997 mm -hmm. is still super young to me, right? <laughs> I said, you see, How I, old is 1997? <laughs> like 25? 25, yeah. So like even like 1997 is super young. But when you hear 2000, because we're in 2000s, it just sound crazy. How old are you? I'm 31. I was born in 91. No way. No cap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was born uh -huh. in 91. Sheesh. That's what I thought. Like, Damn. What the fuck? Say that in the mic. How old he thought I was? Say that in the mic. <laughs> Get that on. I thought you was like 22. Ooh. The fuck? You better stop flirting with me. Sorry, <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> hey. No, I appreciate it. No, you got me no. fooled. No, I appreciate it. But nah, do you do people come at you differently? Like hearing that she was born in 2000? I don't think so. People mm -hmm. be like, you young. Like, you young as fuck. Like, I think they probably didn't expect me to be that young, but not really. But it's crazy because like... You're really not young as fuck. Yeah, I'm not. Like, you about to be 23? No, I just turned 22 last month. Oh, you just turned 22? See, yeah. I'm thinking it's about to be 2023 something. I well, just automatically next year, but I you will. But you're Scorpio, so your birthday is at the end of the yeah, year. Yeah, end of the year. Okay. You are, you are November Scorpio or November. October? November. Okay. You think, you think, um, you, you think Drake is like a fraudulent Scorpio or he real? I think he a real Scorpio. He October, so he a little different. But but I be feeling him. I be feeling him on a Scorpio level. I ain't going to lie to you. What? I be feeling that nigga pause. Like, that nigga be saying some real shit. Like, I be like, damn, I wish I would have came up with that For shit. real? No, Drake is the only person to be like, damn. Like, but, I uh, wish I came up with that. But also, let's be real. Drake get away with a lot of corny shit. Yeah. Like, the whole necklace shit, bro. What What necklace? The 42 diamond rings, like the the neck ring, see that? I must be on the internet too Enlighten much. me. So he got this this hard-ass necklace, right? It's hard. Mm -hmm. He just, he should have should kept the fucking explanation to himself. So he got a hard-ass, <laughs> he got hard, it's, like, it's hard, right? It's a bunch of diamond rings forming like a a, a rosary. Remember those? Yeah, I know what a rosary is. Yeah. Like, yeah, like the little cross. Mm -hmm. Am I saying it right? Yeah, so like he got like a, a, but it's 42 diamond rings made up into like a necklace. Okay. Can you imagine, can, can you guess what the rings symbolize or represent? All the women he's been with? Nah. All the times he wanted to propose. <laughs> if that ain't the corniest <laughs> shit, bro, like first of all, forty two was a whole lot. Like you thought about proposing forty two times? Like I thought I was into Were the rings made into a link or was it like the rings just dangling on No, nah, it was just a like they made it into a necklace. Like if you if you if you could picture a necklace a rosary but like with rings. All diamonds. That shit was hard. So it wasn't take the ring part out of it, but yeah. just look at the diamonds. So okay. like just diamonds. Like so that shit was hard for real. Yeah. But y'all say that to say he get away with a lot of shit. Like, All the times he wanted to propose, that's a lot. That's that's crazy. That's a lot. That ain't he fall in love easy. That's some Scorpio shit maybe. No. Oh wow. <laughs> no, we don't fall in love easy. Scorpios are. Y'all swear y'all not emotional, but y'all are <laughs> y'all y'all are cancers time ten. If I had to, <laughs> if I had to like put it to something like y'all cancers time ten. No, we are emotional. I'm not gonna lie about that. We are, <sighs> but also like we know how to hide it too. Like we try to hide Super it. Super poker face. We try to hide it. I won't show it unless like. You just got me like that, but mm. that's funny. That goes into um, you were like super in love at one point, right? <laughs> like uh, two K baby, you were like that was like a whole thing, like right? 
Oh, that was, I caught you off guard? <laughs> <laughs> you're like, shit, this was good until like, you had to go there. <laughs> yeah, that was like 2019, though. Mm. Mm-hmm. Right. But that like had a... <laughs> <laughs> we got to pause on that like... You need some more? Yeah. <laughs> Yo, this episode is sponsored by The Morning Meetup. Man, shout out to my guy, David Shines, man. He's probably one of the few people I know who actually built multiple multi-million dollar businesses, right? He created The Morning Meetup to help other entrepreneurs do the same thing. Now, listen, as an entrepreneur myself, I know how hard it can get, especially when we start making money and we get to like this financial cap that we can't get past. And honestly, let's be real. They say it ain't what you know, it's who you know. We probably can't get past this cap because we either, one, outgrew the people around us, or two, we just being lazy and weighing in the rooms we need to be in. It's just plain and simple. But trust me, this is your time because the morning meetup is that room we got to be in. It's filled with, filled with entrepreneurs getting to it. They reading different books every month, right? They holding each other accountable. And it's just honestly just something dope to be a part of. So listen, if you're an entrepreneur and you're trying to get to this bag, you're trying to flourish more than you've been flourishing now, you got to go to the morningmeetup.com. That's www.themorningmeetup.com and join now. Let's get to it. I'll see you there. <laughs> <laughs> we got to make an interlude. Man, you got to pull your own, though. I can't pull it for you. You can move it out of the way. I, t- I hate when people do that. Like, that's a, people be like, the mic right here. People be like, <laughs> like, bro, you don't move that shit out your way. <laughs> like, niggas be like, like, move that shit out your way. <laughs> like, yo, I seen, the, um, that, that remind me of, uh, you scared of bugs? I mean, I don't like bugs. Hey, man, so, you, you asked him some funny as <laughs> fuck. So, look, I seen, you no, know, because, like, I was thinking, like, the, the mic is more scared of you than, than you, like, move the mic. But I seen this meme the other day, and uh, the girl was saying, she was like, uh, what the fuck she say? She was like, I hate when niggas say, um, when she see a bug and a, a nigga be like, the bug is more scared of you than uh <laughs> scared, you right? She's like, nigga, if you don't kill this bug, <laughs> like, nah, I, seen, I don't know exactly what that shit said, but it was something along the line. I know like, what you're talking about. It's more yeah. scared of you than it. Yeah, but yeah, fuck it. Fuck that shit. <laughs> so, um, first of all, before we go into this topic, right? Because mm-hmm. that's crazy. Speaking of topics, you could tell your, your dog that, bro. Um, I'm talking to seven. They went over his head. He missed it, but um. Before we go into this, you know what's crazy? Mm-hmm. Swear on everything. What? I did an interview with 2K Baby. Oh, really? Just like this? Yeah. That's what's up. No cap. Put this on, like, so it's probably had to be like two, three weeks ago. Oh, really? I put this on everything randomly. Wait, that's crazy. You, like, no, r- like, randomly, like, uh, somebody hit me about you. Mm hmm. And I'm like, yeah. Yeah. I was this was after. This was after, but it was yeah. so random. It wasn't like it was random. So oh, like, man, the, that's you, crazy. You, yo, Scorpio, you believe in like universe and like energy? No, yeah, I do. Uh, I yeah, do. yeah, I know. <laughs> I know. Scorpios love that shit. Like, are you um? Is gem um, is um? What is it called? Uh, what is it? Gems? The uh, what? The rocks. The rocks. What crystals. Is it? Crystals. Is that's the only thing when people that's gone. yeah, that's a thing. People do that, but I'm not into crystals. I feel like crystals. Mental health, don't kill me, y'all. Crystals, mental health, like, all of that was, like, a shit that, like, not mental health, but, like, crystals was a thing before it came and gone. You know what else? Kind of like, um, Grand Rising. Like, that came real fast and it went so quick. Yeah. But, yeah. People still be on that crystal stuff, though. I ain't see that shit in a minute. I ain't gonna lie. Some people do. All right. So, let's talk about you and 2K. Okay. So... It's funny because I seen you on Trash Bag Mag, right? And it was like, what's the worst sign? And of course you said <laughs> cancers. Of course you said that. <laughs> I thought it was so interesting because it's like, you could correct me if I'm wrong. Mm-hmm. Why do we, because we can't ignore that something good had to be there. Yeah. Right? But why do so many times, especially as black people, we get in relationships and when it goes wrong or goes south and we get out of it, it's like that was the worst person ever. Yeah, like, I think that's just the stage. Like, even when I said it, like, that was, like, kind of fresh. Like, I was kind of, I was probably still in a place where I was just angry. Mm. But, I mean, I'm not going to say that I wouldn't talk to another cancer, though. So mm. that's why I'm saying it now. Like, I feel like I was just saying that, like. But not even to, like, pinpoint it to him specifically. Yeah. But I just thought that was, cur- I thought that was interesting because, 
That happens a lot. Like, you will ask somebody, like, what's yeah. the worst sign? And it'd be, like, their last person that they was with. It's like, come on, bro. Like, that's yeah. that's kind of cool. Yeah. <laughs> like, that's not, like, y'all it was clearly together for a reason. Y'all had some good. Yeah, you're right. Damn. It's good and the bad. But how how much did that um help your music? That, that A lot. It helped me a lot, for real, because, one, I had more free time to mm. focus on it. Um, I was meeting more people. Like, I was kind of just, like, focusing on me for real. So I was doing what I need to do, getting the places that I need to get to. But even right after the breakup is the year that I met the producer I was talking about. Mm. So I was able to just work every day after that. I was sad for, like, a month, and then God got me up. But that studio. sad ain't produce no good music, no? No, like that I was still in the studio, but I was creating by myself, like I mm. said. I was paying for studio time. And then I was going in there with stuff written. And yeah, I was writing a lot through that time. But it just wasn't the same studio experience. Okay. So just curious, what do you think a better space to be in, right? Because we always hear the artists and like yeah. when they break up, they had a, their best music. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, what's the being in a hurt space mm -hmm. or being in a real happy space? What's the best place to be in to make the best music? It's crazy because, like, I feel like it depends. Like, when when I'm in a hurt place, I'm making good music. Mm. Like, I feel like I'm making better music. I can't even say better music. I'm making good music, but maybe I'm not producing as much as I should be. Mm. But when I'm in a good place, I'm producing a lot more music because I'm just in a good place. Mm. But... I still feel like it's good music. I don't think I make a bad song for real. Some songs I'll be like, okay, this is kind of mid. Let's just not even finish it. But if I finish it, I don't think it's bad for real. So I don't know. I feel like my best music comes from a hurt place, to be honest, though. Mm. My, or my most authentic music. Do you ever catch yourself trying to chase a feeling to make some really good music? Sometimes. Sometimes, but... That's one thing, like, I made myself this year, like, not do. Like, mm. sometimes I'll just go. I record myself most of the time, so I was able to practice this, just being by myself, like, just nothing but pen and paper, literally nothing but pen and paper. And that's when I tried to make myself start writing again because I got into the habit of just punching in, punching in, punching in. But I wanted to just see the difference between writing. So I'll just try to, like, do certain certain sessions to myself where mm. I can just, like, cancel everything out because of course like sessions in a group setting you know it's a lot around a lot of people around just a lot of fun like but i mean i like i enjoy both environments it's just different outcomes sometimes that makes sense so curious because i think i said and you can correct me at any time if i say something wrong i think i seen some some somewhere when it was kind of like a conflicting far as like rap and, and singing yeah was that about a place you was in yeah, so my, my whole life I was a singer. Like, I am a singer. Mm -hmm. But I didn't start rapping until 2021. But what's rap? Because I feel like even what I heard, everything I heard wasn't rap. Yeah, everything I heard wasn't rap, but I still feel like I be spitting. So it's like... Okay. Not everything, but like even you heard Outsider? Like Yeah, I'm, that shit is a vibe. You I don't think I'm rapping, that. though? No. What you think I'm doing, singing? I think it's a vibe. That might be why I get Dave's Loaf. That might be why. Right? Because, like, that was kind of like that in between, right? Am I tripping? Help me out, guys. If I'm, if I'm tripping, let me know. If I hear you, say, yeah, you tripping. But, no, you're okay. not tripping because I don't even like to tell people I'm a rapper or a singer because it's like, I don't freaking know. Okay, so my point in saying that, right, I was curious, when you making music, do you are you okay with getting other writers or is that still like a, a no-go for you? It's not a no-go, but it's just having something I've done yet. But it's mm. not something I'm, like, not open to. But I would still need to, like, I still want to be in creative control. But mm. I would, like, I would definitely be open to having ears in the rooms, who like, that I can, like, feed off of. But as for, like, taking a whole record, like, I'm not interested in really taking a whole record from somebody. Unless maybe I just fall in love with the record. But even still right now, I feel like I just need to be authentic with my fans, which is, a, like, writing my own stuff. Mm. Okay. When you say creative control, if somebody write the music, do you not own it, no? Or can you pay for it and own it or no? How does that work? 
I don't know. know. <laughs> yeah, she's like, I ain't even do that. So I don't even know. Right. I, I don't know. No, writers, I think writers be fighting for their money. Like, the artists still be getting what they're they supposed Kyrie, to get. You, you would know. Wait, the I writer? Think, I think these days writers want to get paid up front, right? Or no? They want a percentage of the song. Okay. I mean that's probably. I mean if the bit it could be right, right like that it could be done good. Mm. Yeah, I don't know, but I'm not even worried about percentages. I'm just talking about like most of the time. Like I've had studio sessions where people have to, like tried to bring writers in, mm -hmm. but I don't ever force it. Like I don't ever want to force it because I still I still trust in my creative direction. Like whatever I think for the song. So if I did do it, I would like to do what I'm gonna do first and like kind of let them just okay put their feed back in yeah I where get it goes it. ain't nothing wrong with that yeah but I'm not saying I'm completely closed to it either it's just where I, the stage I'm at in my career right now mm. so you had actually brought it up outsider mm -hmm. that song was fire thank you first of all that shit was thank fucking you. amazing. Is that again? Because I'm 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 really new to this. So for the fans, don't kill me. Was that one of your singles? No, that wasn't no? even a single. That was on my last tape that I mm -hmm. dropped earlier this year. Yeah, I seen that. And it just happened to go. She was fire. Thank you. So that was one of the big songs, though. Yeah. Okay. On last tape, but I dropped two tapes this year. Not the one that I dropped last month, but mm -hmm. Outsider was on the one that I dropped earlier this year. I think you had like a picture, like a silhouette, maybe. Yeah, it was a silhouette. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I listened to the music for sure. Come on, man. Come sure, on, I respect it. I I, um, <laughs> nah, that shit was fire. And I, and I listened to it right, and I went back. It's crazy because I was like, I'm, I'm curious to see how she sounded before this because I, I think I heard that first, and yeah. uh, I went back. I'm like, okay. Yeah, I, my old music's still up there. Yeah. So, question. Do you feel like you're outside? Like did that that had to come from a place of like just authenticity. It had yeah. To. Cause like sometimes I just be feeling misunderstood a little bit. Even with college, like college is I feel like is a place where you really find yourself. And I'm still in college, so I'm forever feeling a lot of emotions, even when it comes to school, friends, guys. Just... Senior now? Junior still? You were... I'm a senior. Congratulations. Something Getting like senior itis, that. that's a real thing. Something like that. When you don't want to be there, you over it. Yeah, but I'm I still probably gonna end up doing at least one more semester. Okay. Okay. But that's good. Though. I'm still almost at the finish line. Yeah, that's that's really good. Mm -hmm. I supposed to graduate in 2014. I graduated Ooh. in 2017. So yeah, you're, you're done. You and you go to HBCU. Yeah. So you're doing really good. Yeah. <laughs> don't be don't don't yeah. don't play yourself. You're I got really sidetracked one year, so like I'm behind the semester. Which is still doing really. Trust me, it's so mm -hmm. many people. HBCUs, niggas, t two years, yeah. HBCUs, we be in that motherfucker. <laughs> we be in that motherfucker. Be fun. <laughs> we just doing too much. So like, <laughs> you're doing good. You're doing good. But um, you was saying how you feel misunderstood, college life, boys. Yeah, even just being an artist and like that's not what everybody else does at school. Everybody else is like going to be a lawyer. Mm going to do this, going to do that. Can't relate. Yeah, they can't really relate. And I'm even, I'm a music industry major, so everything I do is music. Like, I'm not at school to do something else. Mm. I'm at school to do music as well. So sometimes I do feel misunderstood, like, an outsider, like, everyone else just can't relate. And kind of how I came with followers. It's not even just about being at college, but college kind of made me realize this, but you came already lit. Yeah, right. and I was kind of treated different at first when I first got there. But since I started doing the music, like people, my music's actually good. The narrative is changing. People fucking with me, like. But they was like some people were just hating when I first got there. So that was kind of like weird. Like what I do to y'all, like I ain't do nothing but being me. Isn't it crazy? I think Jay Z said this in um, God Day. He said, um, I, basically, he was apologizing if his lifestyle made you feel insecure. Right. And it's crazy how like. You could just be being you, and somebody could automatically think, yes. oh, she thinks she's all that. Or she and that think, was the narrative. Oh, she thinks she all that. Oh, she think this. Like, like bro, what? I'm just me. <laughs> what could you talk about? Bro, for real. <laughs> so let me ask you this. Um, you spoke on boys. Mm-hmm. When you're dating, are you dating, or you have, a, like, a boyfriend? <laughs> oh, that's a, that's a tricky question, because she's like, shit, if I say no, he's probably watching this. Fuck. Um... Yeah, I'm dating. Okay. When you are dating, 
being in this tricky spot of being misunderstood. Right. How hard is that in a relationship? Because like you said, you could be at school. Nobody can relate to you, right? Nobody mm. understands you. You might be outside. You're not the average person, so people don't understand you. And then when the, even if it's a small moment, when the small moment when, when the guy you're dating don't understand you, does it heighten the emotion? Does it make it more frustrating? Because like it's, everybody else already don't understand me. Yes, oh definitely, God, definitely. Actually. And I'm not gonna lie, like I feel like I still haven't. I don't know. I feel like there's somebody who's really gonna understand. Mm. But I'm still young, so I feel like I might. I haven't met everyone I'm gonna meet, and maybe even the people that I have met, like there's just still growth there, maybe. Mm. But I don't know. Honestly, I feel like everybody in life needs time to themselves to get where they want to be, mm. like for themselves. But then also, I ask myself, like I see a lot of people who are happy in relationships and still thriving. So it's like. I don't know. I need to just find that balance, I guess. But I'm still young, so yeah, you I'm experiencing, to, yeah. You don't, need, you don't have to worry about none of that shit. Like, yeah. You, you're doing good. <laughs> like, that shit's going to come. Yeah. You're 22. Like, right. have fun. you fucking college. Like, right. do what the fuck you want. Yeah, like, so that's what I need. Like, because I be, I be, like, I be all in. I be all in. But that's okay. Yeah. Be all in. But understand that. It might fall out, and when it fall out, be all the fuck out. Right. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? No like, facts. Cut that shit off. No you, facts. You're 22. Like, facts. you good, bro. Like 22. You, like, like, I look at you like, Louis, like, bro, you was good. Like, bro, don't facts. fuck these little, <laughs> these little dirty <laughs> dunt niggas ain't doing shit. Like, little bums. That's all it no, is. No, for real, especially in college. Like, nah. Yeah, you good. It ain't worth it. Sen- I'm just thinking my senior year. I, st- I thought I was I thought I was doing something. I thought I was big shit. Mm-hmm. I was a fucking low ass aunt. Like I wasn't a low ass aunt. That <laughs> wasn't <laughs> shit compared to what the fuck. <laughs> but yeah, so question like going through all these emotions, right, and making music and still chasing the dream. Mm-hmm. I want you to be honest with me. Mm-hmm. Tell me about those times when you at home by yourself. Mm-hmm. Right, like, cause like only everybody look at you as Jaya. Everybody look at, like you got a lot of yeah. followers. Like you are doing good. Everybody look at you as like big shit. Right. Not saying that you don't have faith in yourself, but tell tell us about the moments when you might not feel like that, or you might not yeah. think that you're at your potential. So it's frustrating. Yeah, I mean, the one thing I can say about me, I try not to stay down for too long. Mm. But, of course, there are moments when I get down. And even sometimes in those moments, like, I don't even feel like creating. Like, I don't even Mm. feel like making music. So if I feel that way, then that's when I really start, like, reevaluating what's going on in my life. Like, Mm. you don't even feel like creating music. Like, you really need to make some changes in your life. But most of the time I am alone, to be honest. Like, I spend a lot of time to myself. And I I enjoy recording by myself. So... Mm. So when you get in those spaces, the the small times when you do get in those spaces, right? Yeah. You don't feel like recording. How are you one able to recognize the space that you're in, mm-hmm. and two do something to get out of that space? Well, I always recognize it. I always know because it's just like I know when I'm super happy. I'm recording every day. Like mm. I want to record every day. So that's kind of how I can tell. But to get out of it. I just start thinking about like, bitch. There's no plan B. Like, mm. like this. This is this is what you're doing. Like, and if somebody had to get up and like go to work every day, like you still got to get up and go to work every day. Like, this is still something you have to do. And if I'm not creating, most of the time you're gonna make your best music when you're sad, when you're depressed, all of that. And I've literally been proof of it when I make myself get up and do it. So it's mm. like, while you're feeling these things, you're crazy if you're not recording. Okay, so actually checking yourself and seeing the reality of it, right? Yeah, like you're stupid as fuck. Like you, you're you <laughs> feeling this way. You're never going to feel this exact way again, ever. Mm. But can't, just playing devil's advocate, right? Mm-hmm. That, have to be a, that has to be a tough space to be in because it's like I'm not even able to. Because one thing I know about, Scorpios is like y'all super like y'all care about self and self love. This mm-hmm. is from my experience. Like y'all y'all are super um what's the word? Um like when you care for somebody, help me out guys. Empath, yeah. Empath, um 
nurturing. Thank yeah. you, brother. See, that's why I got people. That's what we here for. Scorpio is from my experience as super nurturing. Yeah, we are. Right. So being super nurturing and, and being a nurturer when you're in these spaces and it's like, yo, I should make music in this time because that's when I make my my music. How frustrating is that to not feel like I can have me time? Or do you ever feel like that? Well, my me time is recording. I ain't mad at that. That like is that. my me time. Like, I couldn't even think of what else would be me time. Mm, I like that. That's hard. For real. I barely watch TV anymore. I might, but barely. Because you see how that could be frustrating? Because it's like, yo, that's work. Still, it's still work. Because you know how they say, sometimes they say, you got to find something that makes you happy. Yeah. You got to find something to yeah. have a ha- hobby. So when you having this, when you in this space and it's like, bro, everything is getting on my nerves. I'm hurt. I mm-hmm. just want to take a second. And it's like, you're yeah. almost forced to get up and make music because that's when you do the Yeah, best. I am forced. And not every time I get up, like I'm human. Mm. But then again, I have to like reality check. Like <laughs> I like that. Hey, I love it. That shit is fire. Like even if you had to go to work, you're not finna get fired. You're finna go to work. Like Get this motherfucking money. And like I can't. I can't help my. No one's gonna help me. Like as an artist, like mm. I gotta help myself. I like that. I fuck with that. Mm-hmm. What you got going on right now? Right now, I'm just <clears throat> trying to create. I'm pushing the EP that I just dropped last month. I'm really just trying to get videos out for that. Keep pushing that. I'm definitely gonna drop some more stuff top of the year. Mm. Like crazy. Try to do a single. Well, I will do a single. You every doing month. videos with it or? Yeah, if it comes. I don't be knowing for real. Like, I'm I'm a real go-with-the-flow type person. Mm. Not all the time, but I work with what I got. So I just be going with the flow. But there's a lot of people, especially in the city, who, like, creatives who generally just support me. So most of the time I'm able to create whenever I want, whether it's a video, studio, pictures, whatever. Mm. So No, I mean, I think, I think uh, you definitely got something good going. Thank you. Uh, I tell them all the time because, like, I wish I could lie sometimes, but, like, that ain't really my thing. Right. It's so more refreshing doing an interview with somebody who has good music. Yeah, than somebody who does. Because it's like, then it's work. Like, this, right. I enjoyed this. Like, even right. when I was able to just, you know what I'm saying? I enjoyed this. Right. But it'd be times where it'd be like. Just busy work for Just work. Mm-hmm. But I, I definitely enjoyed it. I think you got. Something really good. I enjoy your music. Thank you. Fuck with it. Thank I don't even you. like young people music nowadays. I swear I don't. <laughs> like I'm a young people hater. So like, who you be listening to? I'm an to? old hater. Who you be listening to? I listen to like Lauren Hill. Okay, I like uh, Lauren Hill. Survive. Yeah. I listen to like um The Weeknd. Okay. Um, I don't really listen to like, rap. I mean, if I listen to rap, I probably listen to like ESTG, but I rarely listen yeah. to rap. Like I rarely listen to rap. Where are you from? I'm from Baltimore. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You from Atlanta, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, did you... Because it's funny. It's just with this weird space because you're young, but, like, did you experience the 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 down south music industry getting overlooked? Did you have that, that experience or not really? Nah, no? not really. When you, when you was coming up, it was already lit. Yeah, when I was coming like, up, it was lit, for real. Yeah, like, shit, like, that was the best 2000 <laughs> music. <laughs> Am I lying? Yeah, and especially like, when I hit Teenager. yeah. Yeah, Migos is probably just coming out. Like it was lit. Yeah, no, nah, for sure. No, nah, I was great talking to you. I let for the people that don't know, um, let them know how to follow you and everything, and how they can support you. Yeah, you can follow me on all, all platforms. Um, T A J I A H G A R Y. My music on all platforms under Jaya, J I A H. Dope person, man. Dope personality. <laughs> dope music. Check it out. Shit is fire. J Hill, Mr. J Hill podcast. We don't got nothing else to say. Dope people with dope conversations. It's a wrap. We out.